Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, guys, we are in the Z44, the newest campaign to come to World of Warships Legends. And guys, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I hate this ship. Now, I know that hate is a very strong word. And, you know, a few of my games did not go the way I want them to. But this game sort of did. And it's just... This ship is basically a Tier 8 German Udachi. Uh, it is a German destroyer without sonar. It does have decent torpedoes, and you know we will go over the stats at the end. But you're lacking in the guns. You do have decent concealment. You have a smokescreen and engine boost. But for some reason, this just feels like the red-headed stepchild of destroyers. And I would rather play any other destroyer. I'd rather be in a tier 7 in, against tier 8 destroyers than play this thing. Now, that being said, the campaigns are always worth it to get the rewards. You get a lot of extra bonuses, uh, insignias, promotion orders, etc. But guys, I'm, I'm going to be quite honest. If you wanted to skip this one, uh, this is it. And I know this is going against the mold. ACC saying a ship is bad and not to get it. How could that ever happen if we're, there's the secret wargaming agenda? Well, I'm not a part of this one. Uh, and like I said, this is actually the best game we got. I have a few meme-worthy moments. Uh, but I do want to edit in uh, some other footage of me going against an AFK destroyer. Just to show you how pathetic the guns are. Here, a small and disconnected like I did, you know, tonight. If you guys saw that, it was actually a pretty hilarious moment on stream. And there's nobody around. I'm literally, we literally have free range on this guy. And you can just see how, like, lackluster these guns are. Now, you could make the argument that I could have switched to AP, but considering the player base cannot think and breathe at the same time, most of them are just going to be spamming HE. So... Here is the result. With combination from this Palmer with his secondaries and main guns, it took us, what, just <laughs> a whole minute here just to kill one destroyer? Now, again, that being said, you can get fires. You know, if you play smart, you can, you know, kind of chip away at other ships. But to me, a, a concealment torpedo destroyer without sonar of the German variety is the last thing that I want to play. Now, with all of the negative Nancy stuff aside, I do know there is a group of, you know, people that like to play this game, and they like to play ships that are maybe not the most OP, as spamming the Salem in a division 24-7, you know, obviously it's not going to make you a better player, and, to, you know, to me, it's just not that fun. Now, some people do have fun playing, you know, that, and some people have fun playing ships like this. Like we mentioned, it is always a good idea to get the campaign ship. Number one, the rewards, and number two, it'll probably return at a later date. But enough of that. That is kind of my brief review. We will go over the stats and kind of our final thoughts at the end. Let's get to the only interesting game or, or you know, video-worthy game that I have had in this ship. And as you can see, there's actually a failed division on the other team, and they make themselves known... <laughs> in this cap very shortly. We can see that the Benson pops up, as well as the Sumner. I, I thought that the twist and track kind of moved there. And here we're just playing some pure guesswork. We threw some torpedoes at that Benson. I'm not sure if he decided to turn towards... I'm not sure what he decided to do. Uh, but you can see that we briefly pop out of our smoke there to get a few shots on the Sumner to try and draw him in our direction. And it works. You will notice that we get not one, not two, but three torpedo hits for a devastating strike on the Benson. And there's only, there's really only one way that we could have gotten a third torpedo strike, and that is if we hit the Sumner. So a huge radar from our uh, fellow P bag there. So shout out to him with one shell. That is actually a, a good example of you know the guns, right? With one shell hit, we get not the double strike, but two kills off both the destroyers. And you will notice our uh, the other red destroyer is already dead. So a perfect example of just what it feels like to be on the red team, I guess. The enemy blue team, which is the red team to us, uh, is experiencing the joys of Legends having three destroyers dead in three minutes. If you're a destroyer player, now I, I can't necessarily blame the Benson. He's probably pretty new to the game. His teammate put him in a bad position, but... If you're a destroyer player, you have to live past the seven to you know the seven thirty or eight minute mark in, in most games. Uh, we skipped ahead just a bit. Uh, that Vanguard got blasted by all of our battleships. He turned broadside in front of six battleships. So what do you expect would happen? Uh, that Lepanto was pushing his way in, and honestly, the only threat we have of potentially losing this game right now is if he pushes and kills 
our Fletcher and that entire flank and then the other people do something. So we're going to try and assist that Fletcher. He was uh, pretty smart and, you know, signaling things. And that is when I notice Battleship Row appearing from the sea cap that Brandenburg was briefly spotted. And his other two Battleship teammates are actually soon to follow as that Lepanto got dev struck. So we have dev struck two of their teammates so far and they are just down to four. Oh man, and the clock just hit the five minute mark. What a time to be alive on Legends. I seriously don't know what the solution is to this problem. Maybe just saying, you know, a little message. I, apparently there is a matchmaker type in World of Warship Splits. Uh, that says, you know, if you drop below 50%, you're put into a separate matchmaker of other people who are below 50%. And and maybe that would, you know, I, I people have suggested skill-based matchmaking, and that just, I hate to say it, but that wouldn't work. Um, we would be, you know, I would be playing the same seven people over and over again, and it would just get very boring. Now, maybe some form of that, like we just mentioned, the Blitz variety, but here... <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm getting antsy. There's only four ships left. Our team is in no position to throw. Now, stranger things have happened, and I don't recommend doing what I'm about to do. But if you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I go ahead and do the destroyer thing that, you know, most destroyer players, when they do this, they end up throwing the game. Um, I'm going to YOLO rush. And unfortunately, this Brandenburg did have the RGA mod, which allows him to see us at a distance of three kilometers. And now the without that mod, you can see we only saw him at two kilometers. For those that don't know, RGA is range of guaranteed acquisition. And that is actually when the FDG pulls a fast one and I almost get death struck. If you're a destroyer player and you, 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 you think that this is a good play, you know, please go back to the school of destroyerness. Now I probably should have thrown the second set a, a potentially wide, I was trying to get one on the FDG and one on the Brandenburg. It actually, the first set actually doesn't kill the FDG. As you see, we had to get the six torpedo, but there's a dev strike, there is a flesh wound, and there is my most exciting Z44 game. 94,000 damage, I think I get like 2,700 XP, which is my highest total by far. Guys, I like I said, there's, there's no way to put it softly. This ship is just not good. Wargaming is gonna have to think of something. I give ships a fair chance, but I just, I just number one, I don't like this ship. Number two, I don't think it's any good. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and briefly go over the commander here. I was running the wrong build, like we mentioned. I'm running Observant Rage. You should run the Torpedo Speed. Contact is imminent. But considering most German destroyers are gunboats, you can see this is going to be the more ideal build. But, you know, who cares? Uh, on top of that, we're running Twist and Track, which Perceptive might be a little more effective. Uh, and then unstoppable. We are also running a full concealment build, which got it down to five kilometers, I think. And then of course, uh, Sims for the health. Those are our modules and you can see them if you pause the screen if you want and here are the stats. Five by one, 128s with a 3.4 reload. The two by fives with 80 second, 85 second reload and 12 kilometer range. So this is the only shining or saving grace of this boat. And like we mentioned, if you run a blue Fiora build, you may get some fun or benefit out of it, but maneuverability isn't terrible. The AA defense, as you saw with 28, is pretty bad. And guys, that that is the ship. They couldn't even think of three good things to say about it. Normally there's three here, but there's only two. I don't know. And and this is not, I wanted to show this because we actually had a pretty, this was again off stream. It's so weird. And that was the game we lost. We came in first. So again, a legends team. It's so weird when I, you know, play off stream. I don't see any names I know for the most part, but uh, peculiar phenomenon. I wanted to put up this, you know, service record here just to show you guys. It wasn't because I was losing games. Now you guys saw me, uh, what, Monday night on stream. We did not do well. Um, so that definitely has some influence, you know, into it. But personal opinion, I just, I don't, I hate the ship. <laughs> I, I, I hate it. Um, I, I don't think it's good. And, you know, my opinion is... Not that we, we tend to fall into echo chambers and legends. You, you don't like, we don't like hearing the opinions of others. Now, that being said, some people, you guys, you, you know, some people just have no clue. Um, but, but that being said, a lot of the other CCs and other players don't like this ship. Now, I've, I've talked to some people that do. Um, but I guess, what, what does uh, other people say? Different boats for different folks or something like that. So, yeah. That's my review, guys. 
Don't tell the other content creators though that Aaron had a negative review. I am the guy that always reviews ships well, according to some people. But uh, yeah, four out of five wins on the evening, and and again, that doesn't change my my opinion as we get the scoreboard for this game here. Very mediocre game. Again, I probably won't touch this ship, but that is my review, guys. I'm sorry that it was, you know, negative, but that's the truth. If people are spending their hard-earned money on a boat, then I, I'm, you know, I just want to, you know, inform them of what they're getting and, and what I have experienced. Now, I foresee a huge buff coming, and like I said twice in the video, it is always a good idea to get the campaigns. So, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to get this ship? I've heard a lot of people say they're not. You know, I, I, I don't mind a destroyer campaign at all. That is not the reason I'm upset. The reason I'm upset is just the boat is, the, there's a, like I said, there any other tier eight destroyer I would rather play. But that is the ship. That's the review. That's the video. I'm tired here. A run out. Peace.